hi what's up how is it going today this video we are going to be uh designing uh what's it called wedding jota in corridor uh x7 actually we have uh, a you know three uh what's it called flora you know uh design that was downloaded right from uh what's it called freepick.com if you go to freepick.com and type uh wedding uh design or wedding IV or whatever most definitely you're gonna come across all these you know flora you know design right here you know you can go to freepeak.com that is uh f r w e p i k dot com to you know look for resources to use for your own project so without further ado let's step into it so right now we have uh you know what's it called test you know map out already so right now we are going to make use of this at first so let's bring that in so we are going to do like uh three designs so right now let's step on it so right now what we need to do is to just zoom out and go over to uh, this place and change it to uh a5 which is normal size of uh you know jota let's go ahead to rectangle to double click automatically it snap into the page so right now what we are going to do is to really you know sample you know a uh, color right from this you know flora design so let's go ahead to uh color dropper to then you go over and sample the color that you want to make use of right there then you pour it on the background most definitely you're gonna have it just like so good mind you all we needed to do is to just you know uh let's hold control key on our keyboard then we tap on uh white to lengthen the what's it called the background a bit can you see that so right now let's go ahead and uh, make a copy of this flora Then you go ahead and uh, ungroup all. So what we are going to do now is to take part of this flora. Of time matter, I've ungroup it. Wait a while for that. Then take part of it. Good. Right now, go ahead and convert a bitmap. It's okay. So it's going to combine all the whole uh, objects together. So let's delete this. We don't need this anymore. So right now, let's make uh, big this object that we converted. Good. So what we are going to do now is to lengthen this. Go ahead to your uh, transparency tool. Click on that. Then go over and uh, click on uh, uniform transparency right here so that's gonna uh, lengthen all of that down good so let's go ahead and bitmap again convert to bitmap with the wife that in the shirt then let's go ahead and power clip that into place power clip good so select then let's make it a bit bigger Hold out key, select the image, then release your key and adjust just like so. Good. So right now what we're gonna be doing what, what we are going to do right now is to create an object you know behind this. So let's make it bigger. So let's go ahead to uh, select uh you know what's it called color dropper to then let's sample this dark color right here the white then you point on the uh object that I created so right now we are going to send this behind the design go to paint down and keyboard moves definitely gonna have you know it like this good so let's give it a shade of you know dark color with the help of uh, what's it called interactive field tool let's drag on that 
good let's go ahead and make the hopper color which is white select make it dark right from here good good can you see that so let's go ahead and just center it within the object then let's group ctrl g then let's make reduce a bit good mind you this background has to be dark in a bit so let's go ahead and tap on uh, what's it called it's that color right here put it on the background mm -mm -mm, this is not uh, really nice so let's go back good so what we are going to be doing now is to bring in uh, what's it called the test let's bring in the test then let's go ahead and make a copy of the test we're gonna have to type uh, what's it called celebration of love celebration of love so let's change that to Trajan right from here. Trajan. Good. Reduce a bit, then you go ahead to your uh, shape tool, increase the tracking, then let's have it lower a bit. Good. Let's change this to uh, flat wine. Good, nice. Good. So let's make this white, set outline to white, then let's go ahead, this doesn't make sense, let's delete the flora behind that, then right click, then go over and uh, turn on, good, nice. So what we're going to be doing now is to go ahead and change this to uh, Trajan as well. Then you hit Ctrl K to break it into pieces. So let's drag the whole of this test downward, these two. Then let's lay emphasis on the, uh, what's it called? Their name. Hit Ctrl K to break it into pieces. Then we're gonna have to uh, set this eye up. Then let's have this beneath. Then this to the stream down. Good. So let's go ahead and zoom up. We're gonna have to use a, a font called Hello Paris. Good. Make it bigger. Good. So right now, reduce this a bit. Then move this closer to then this a bit closer. Good. This font is not nice. Let's try and uh, change the fonts to Edward. Likewise this. Nice, so make it bigger a bit, likewise this, then position it up a bit, then likewise this. So we're going to have to uh, make big this flora a bit, nice. So position this upward a bit, good. 
let's zoom down to see the outlook of that so we're gonna have to just have this you know downward a bit then the what's it called the test at the date let's make it white then you go ahead break this right from here then right from here good let's shorten this august it's control k to break it in the pieces so let's make this a bit bigger move this closer to each other good so what we're going to be doing now is to uh, create a line with the help of uh, 3 and 2 so set the outline to white then you hit on F12 a dialog box pops up so let's change uh, the line to dotted line right here then let's make it you know one point it's okay good so make a copy of the line by clicking it once then rotate then right click when you get your destination automatically copy so position is so well the way you want it then go ahead straight this then let's have the hashtag smaller make it white good zoom down a bit and let's see the outcome of that good so what we are going to be doing that background is a bit you know flat so let's create you know an object with the help of a uh, rectangle to click once again squeeze that then make a copy to the other side good let's group ctrl g then let's flip to the other side hold ctrl k and keyboard when you get to the style you right click automatically copy paste then you hit hold ctrl k and keyboard then you tap on r for a repeat can you see that good good let's select the whole thing then move it downward group it once again then make a copy downward as well right click when you get to your destination then you release your mouse then hold ctrl key and keyboard then tap on r for a repeat keep repeating until you're satisfied good can you see that select the whole thing make it white then set the outline to none then go ahead group so what we're going to be doing now is to make it a bit uh, smaller then you go ahead and tap on this color or control key and keyboard tap good or make it white let's go ahead and convert to bitmap right from here it's okay then go ahead to your what's it called transparency tool click on that then you go ahead and hit on uniform transparency go ahead and lengthen it all up you know right from here good then you go ahead convert to bitmap so let's reduce the object good so click once again we're gonna have to squeeze it a bit let's see the outcome of that or better still let's rotate click once rotate good that is nice so convert to bitmap it's a Y so let's park clip that into the background go ahead set the outline to none right from here then you go ahead hold out key then adjust what's it called the image on the inside good position is so well good so right now what we're going to be doing is to make a copy of the object to the other side good so what we're going to be doing is to type this to be at the back 
thank you thank you make it white set the outline to white then go ahead on group we're gonna have to move this closer to each other good group it all up so right now let's type for coming beneath it to complement the uh, thank you for coming so let's have that you know stretch out with the help of uh, you know shape to crazy tracking center it all up with this good let's reduce the whole thing position it downward good center it good so can you see the first you know uh, what's it called sample so let's save ctrl x then let's type in new Ulua. Ulua. it's safe good so right now what we're going to be doing is to change this to a second color so right now let's go ahead let's change the color so i can have two concepts tap on green then hold control key then you tap on yellow to have it you know lemon color good go ahead replicate that to the back then you go ahead and hold control key then uh, select this object so we are changing this to a darker green let's go ahead and double click right here so the level pops up then we change it to darker green good can you see that so all we need to do right now is to change all the text to black good so can you see that so this is the outcome of what we created so far so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what uh, we have shared so far and mind you there is this uh you know uh super thanks sticker beneath my uh video right there you know i want you to buy me a coffee you can just do that right now so uh thank you for following me and uh, don't forget to visit freepick.com to download your resources so that we can have our resources to play around with you know thank you for following me bye for now